it's here! Yeah. everyone good evening how are you are we all okay yes i hope so i am because it's friday it's friday evening that means the weekend is here it is here bring it on okay that was a little bit extra but yeah i'm glad it's weekend i'm happy good right i'm happy because my fab fit fun box has arrived i was sitting here i'm in my study you know this is my area where i work and um, and i've got my window sitting no fa facing outwards straight there and i saw my local hermes um courier drive up in his little white van and i thought oh is he gonna stop outside he did and he came out and i saw him carry the box i literally jumped up from my chair ran to the door the poor guy didn't even get a chance to put the box down and sort of socially distance himself i was like hand that box over so yes it is here i'm so happy and i don't know why i'm so excited because to be honest i don't think i was that excited about the pics <laughs> so i'm like really enthusiastically waiting for this box and i cannot remember what it was that i picked i don't think i was that impressed with the choices but let's see I know there's two things that I was in I kind of wanted but I think that was it but let's go in and see so here's the box what I've done I've just cut it open what they normally do they put my add-ons and things on the outside and then they put the box inside so I'm just gonna have a little peek to see how they pat it this time right so here's all the stuffing here's the paper on top oh yes oh yes oh yes darling yes 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 oh just yes okay i think i'm gonna oh well, i don't know how to do this because i know some of this stuff was actually choices but they obviously didn't want to put everything inside the actual box itself so i am going to slip these things to the side because i don't want you to see them yep so i'm going to slip them there and I'm going to take out the box. Oh, did I choose that? I don't remember choosing that, but yeah, I obviously did. Right, let me take out the box because I'm going on here and you have no idea what I'm on about. Shall I start again? <laughs> Should I calm down? Let me start again. Fab Fit Fun. I put my professional voice on. Fab Fit Fun is a seasonal subscription box. It is originally an American box, but they do ship to the UK and they also ship to the United States. The box costs $49.99 per per quarter. So it's four times a year. Spring, summer, winter, autumn. Or in America, they don't say autumn, they say fall. Yeah, don't ask i don't know what accent that was they say fall instead of autumn right so we are now on the spring box you can also if you can do the quarterly subscription so you'll be a seasonal member or you can do what's called a um, annual membership or select membership that's the two names i use for it and that's for people who buy their subscription in upfront for the year and if you do that the subscription will cost you right, rather than $200 it costs you $179.99 call it $180 so you're saving $5 per box so instead of $49.99 per box you're paying $44.99 so that's what I am I am a seasonal no, I'm not I'm an annual member and my membership starts in November roughly so that's when I do it okay we've done that so with fab fit fun if you are a if you are a seasonal member so you pay per box they'll, they've got something like seven items which you get inside your box which you can choose and of that number seven eight or however much it is you can select three items so how they normally do it they'll give you four items in option one and say right pick one of these so off you go you pick which one you want option two four items pick which one you want i say four items sometimes it's a lot more you might have seven items in that selection sometimes you might only have two or three but you pick one item and that's it so if you are a seasonal member there's three things you can pick and then the rest of the items are picked by fab fit fun if you're an annual member like myself you can pick five items 
it's for yourself so that gives you a bit more choice and a bit more you know you get more variety and you know you can customize your box more for yourself so that's one of the advantages of being a annual member so you, you pay up front but then you get to pick five items the other advantage of being an annual member is that when they do their sales so they do edit sales they do edit sales, add-on sales, that sort of thing, um, you tend to get first choice. So you tend to be able to pick your things that you want sort of two, three days before the seasonal members get it. So sometimes, because we are all a selfish bunch of people, we, we sell out of stuff. Um, they, they sell out of stuff because all the select members have picked everything already. But then FabFitFun have kind of realised that and they have started to re-release other products as well. So which the um, seasonal members can also go on and buy for themselves if they want to. Still available to the select members, they can go on and do a second purchase if they want to. But, you know, that's how it is. Right, let me get in the box. Let me show you this box. This box is so pretty. So, so pretty. It's not heavy actually not heavy at all this is actually very light so this is the box it's actually a really small box i remember when fabfitfun boxes used to be basically as big as that outer box that's there but they're trying to reduce the wastage to be more sustainable and so on so they're trying to do more custom um custom sized boxes if they can just to make it cheaper and just better for the environment so i expect most of my items are in there some of my items as you already know, I've taken out and put to the side. So I will show you those. Right, let's open this baby up and let's see what we've got in here. Now, how am I supposed to open this up? Oh, here we go. It is such a pretty box, wow. Look at that, it's just a nice box, isn't it? That, that's nice, I think I might keep this box. And um, God knows, I've got so much stuff inside this room already. I'm going to give this room a bit of a clear out, to be honest. Okay, so that's what the inside of the box looks like and things are dropping out there. I'm just going to take a thumbnail picture, so excuse me one second. Right, okay, so taking the picture, let's have a look and see what we've got going on here inside this box. So we've got a leaflet here that says Grow Forth. Grow Forth, have a bit fun. What's that all about then? Share the joy of digging into your spring box, detach the postcard below and send it to a friend today. Then put this poster in a spot that will give you a regular reminder. It's your turn to bloom. Right, this is the magazine. And in here, you'll have all the information about the products that are available for choices in this seasonal box. So I'm going to keep that here so it's handy. And then I'm going to put all this aside. There's more leaflets here. So this is sort of um, HelloFresh US. So obviously we can't use that here in the UK. And um, we've also got stuff here for supplements, which is an American thing, which we can't use here either. I'm just going to crack on and get inside my box. All this yabbering on. I just want to see what I got. Right, where's my leaflet? Okay, so here we go. Here's the magazine. Do, 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 do. Right, so as I said, everybody can pick out different items. So in choice one, so I always try to get this right. So in choice one, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items that you could have chosen. So we could have chosen a, a, a duffel bag. We could, have, so it's a designer duffel bag by a designer called Alice and Olivia. And apparently um, did have a little bit of research in her. She is actually a current designer, which people do actually know of. Because sometimes we hear designer names in earrings or whatever. We ain't got a clue who they are. This is an actual designer. She's actually, She's, she's actually featured in, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> she's actually featured in recent years um, fashion shows and so forth. So this is good. So that is Alice and Olivia Daisy Print Duffel Bag. That is something I'm pretty certain I, I picked, she says, like she doesn't know that she picked it. You know, something that I, I picked it. Let's just say I picked it because it just looks really, really good. I don't know where I'm going to use this bag. I don't know how big it is, but I know it just looks so cute. I just had to get it. Second choice was something from Perico and MD. And this is Essential FX 
Acyl Glutarithion Rejuvenating Moisturiser. That was worth $98. Um, so Pericone MD is a brand that, you know, we've heard of over here in the UK. Um, it is a very expensive skincare range. Um, but it's supposed to be very, very effective. I haven't purchased anything because they're damned expensive. You know, $98 is expensive for a product and I get a lot of things from BoxyCharm, so I'm not buying it, but apparently it's very good stuff. People who use it, they love it. There you go. Um, uh, next was Short Stories LED Indo Planter, which is worth $60. I was actually quite interested in this. I really was. So basically it's like an indoor planter and you can use it to start your seeds and you can start growing things off. So it's almost like a germinator, but it's like a little bit more fancy and a bit more techy. Um, so it provides all the lighting and everything. And literally you can germinate your plants. People tend to use it to grow their, um, their herbs um, inside the house. So if people, no. I think they supplied a packet of basil. I don't know if they would have done it here because I don't think seeds are allowed to travel from America to the UK. But um, you could get, um, you can use your seeds, do your herbs and stuff, peppers, indoor peppers, you know, all that sort of thing. <clears throat> so that was something I was actually quite genuinely interested in, but I decided not to go for that in the end. The other choices were um, a watch for Monique, classic watch in Sunburst Cellar Rose, which was worth $105. It was a nice watch, but I, I wasn't interested in that. I mean, no, I haven't worn a watch in ages. Since this whole lockdown thing started, I have not worn a watch. No need to. Um, next was Jenny Kane Water Hyacinth Tray with cutout handles. That I actually really liked the look of. It's like a wicker thing. And I think I'm pretty certain I, I picked that as an add-on. Then next was a Tech Candy UV Sanitizer. I looked at that and I thought it was a bit of a gimmick. I really don't know. So it's like a piece of, it's a, it looked like a piece of tat. But then again, um, it just looked like something you can put things like keys and mobile phones in and then you can sanitise it with UV light. I'm trying to be careful not to use the term tat anymore because you remember that last box, that winter box which I did and there was that little wallet thing. Remember that, that little wallet? kind of croc red crocodile, fake crocodile skin wallet. And I said, what a load of crap this is. You know, that has been the most used item I've had in that whole winter box. I use it every day. It is so convenient. It's so good. It's, it's practically, if I'm looking at sort of cost per use, that's been the most high end, most valuable thing to me in that whole winter box. I put my most used debit cards, credit cards in there. I put some coins in there, you know, for parking or whatever. And I put some notes in there and I literally put that in my pocket and that's it. And I go out and it stops me from having to go out with a handbag. Because usually I just go out, when I'm going out for my daily walk, which is usually playing Pokemon. I'll do that if I'm going to the local shops, I need to pick up some stuff to the local supermarket or whatever. I just bring that with me. And that's it. No handbag. Don't have to bring my big purse, which is like a, a wallet. Don't bring that. I just bring that with me and that's it. In my pocket will be a lip gloss, that, my mask, hand sanitizer, off I go. Perfect. That was like the best thing. So I'm going to try not to call things tat anymore, unless it is really clearly, clearly, clearly tat. She says, right, I'm, I'm sure you can check me in about a month's time and I'll probably use the term tat at least 10 times in that time. Right, moving on. So that was that. So those are all the things were there. Oh, so there's a tech candy that's sanitizer. Then there was also something from Milk Makeup, which is a watermelon brightening face mask and mini watermelon brightening face serum. Didn't get that. Didn't really need it. Um, then there was a Shoshana umbrella. I've had an umbrella from FabFitFun before, which I still got. It's like fantastic. It's the best quality umbrella I've ever, ever had. It's just lasted. I've had it for years now and it's just brilliant. So, you know, it says it all really. Um, and the last item was from Cal Pack Set of Three Packing Cubes in Sorbet. Um, I've seen some YouTubers who have bought packing cubes before. Um, they said they're good, but I'm not quite sure how I would use it. I'm probably not being creative enough in my head. I probably could use it to help with my storage, especially in here. So maybe next time I'll get it. But let me show you what I picked. I'm just rambling away, aren't I? Right, here we go. So I picked the duffel bag which I'm really delighted with. So look, here we go. It just looks so cool, so pretty. Let me open it up. <clears throat> it doesn't look that big actually, which is perfect. Because I was a bit worried that it might be one of those really big duffel bags, but let me have a look. No, it's a nice size. 
Oh, this is a perfect size. It's not huge at all. Oh, I can use this. This is perfect. I can use this for work and for when I'm going shopping. This is gorgeous, guys. Oh, look at that. So you've got side pockets. There's a whole daisy print thing going on. Daisy print I'm seeing everywhere at the moment in all sorts of places, in shops everywhere. Uh, when I say shops online. Uh, but daisy print definitely is something that seems to be a style for this spring summer. You've got the long strap at the side there. Oh, I'm... Am I chuffed? Yes, I am. I am proper chuffed with that. But wait till you see what else I've got. You're either gonna laugh, you're either gonna laugh at me and say, yeah, okay, Sandra, okay, we get you, we hear where you're going with that. So that was my first choice, and that bag is worth $150, and that's not an inflated price, that's actually a genuine price for that bag. So I did check, and that is a genuine price for that bag. So so that's my box more than covered, because that's what, 110, 120 pounds? Designer, proper designer. Look at me with my designer stuff. Right, let's go on to two. So this is number two. This is all members can pick this as well. So in choices in two were, you can have our place lunch box. I'll put a picture of the things up on the screen along here. So our place lunch box, which is an easily pack your lunches in this BPA free lunch box. It also comes with utensils and that's $35. Then you had a billion dollar brow six piece pro brush essentials kit. This set has every brush you'll need to perfect your makeup routine and it's worth $62. Um, I didn't bother with that because I get so many brushes. You know I get loads of brushes from my beauty box subscriptions. Um, I really didn't need that at all. <clears throat> Next one's from Josie Moran, which is 100% pure argan oil. That I was kind of tempted by, but I have must admit, I start buying my argan oil from other places now. Um, but Josie Moran was the first place I was aware of that was selling argan oil. And this is years ago, QVC used to have Josie Moran on QVC UK. And she had that argan oil and I used to buy it from there and all the other products to go with it. That's the first time I really came across that high quality argan oil. Not the cheap stuff, the high quality one from Josie Moran. And next was Splendid Faux Fur Slippers in Crystal Pink. So that these slippers looked cute. They're like little pink fluffy slippers with a crisscross design. They looked cute, but I don't need slippers. I tend to wear um, Birkenstocks as my slippers, and I'm more than comfortable wearing my Birkenstocks. So it's fine, don't need that. Then there was a Guy Am or Gay Am, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Game Ultimate Core Toning Kit. Tone your core and improve flexibility with the Core Plus Reformer and Mini Ab Ball. Now, did I order that? Because I know I was thinking about it because this is supposed to be fab fit fun. So not just being fabulous, but it's about fitness as well. And I'm wondering if I ordered that. I can't remember guys, really can't remember. I know it's something I was looking at. So there's that. Then there was a MAC Cosmetics Powder Kiss Lipstick Duo. No, I didn't want that. Um, and then, oh, that was it. So let me see what I got. So, I did. I did the good thing. I was good and I bought the exercise thing. So this is, what do they call it? This is from Gayam or Gayam Ultimate Core Turning Kit. Turn your core, improve your flexibility with the Core Plus Reformer and Mini Apple. $50. I mean, I've actually got quite a few little Apple things here. Um, my daughter uses them, um, Kayla uses them as play things. Um, so I've kind of not really got around to it. So this I'm going to keep for myself and keep private. Um, oh, these look good actually. So here we go, so we've got, so I think with these, you can use these, God, I can hardly do it. So with these, you can kind of use them for sort of yoga and Pilates or yoga lattes, as they call it. Can you see that? <laughs> can you see what I'm doing here? You can see me just getting myself in a mess. Yes, it's got a decent resistance, so it's not too much because I am dreadfully unfit. I have absolutely no flexibility. This whole year, I've done absolutely nothing. I have been really lazy i haven't put on any weight which is like amazing if anything i've actually lost a bit of weight which i don't understand how that's happened but my muscle tone has gone to crap 
Um, I look like hell. I'm just a flabby mess and I'm so unfit. I had to go to the opticians yesterday because the glasses I got back in November, they are, my vision wasn't quite right. So I went to them yesterday, which is in a town centre and I had to climb a couple of flights of stairs. It was either that or use a lift and I thought, let me do the stairs instead. So it was two, three flights of stairs. I almost had a heart attack at the top of the stairs. I was like, <sighs> and I was wearing my mask. So it was like, <sighs> I was in a bad state and I was thinking okay fitness needs to be sorted because we're going to start looking at easing our restrictions and our you know our lockdown soon I need to be getting my act together so this will be a good way for me to start with the toning side and I'll just try to improve my walking just as the evenings are getting lighter I'll just go out and I'll walk but I'll walk at a brisk pace rather than my leisurely pace which I go at now which is my old lady pace I call it so yeah I'm pleased I got that so yeah chuffed with that right section three so I'm happy with my stuff already I mean I've got more than 50 quids worth of stuff here already with that bag and this exercise stuff oh this is the ball that goes with it so I'll inflate the ball I've got loads of um pumps here bicycle pumps and that sort of thing so not a problem three section three so section three is still we're looking at all members get to choose in this section so section three there was a Verso Skincare Super Eye Serum. Again, didn't bother that because I've got a hell of a lot of eye serums. Um, I've also got an Alice and Olivia reversible bucket hat. I think I may have bought that one, I'm not sure. Then there was the Dro Joy Dravecki Chloe Ring. So that was like a ring. Bling out your hand with this adjustable hexagon shaped ring which fits sizes six to eight. I have no idea what size my fingers are. Um, and that was $75. Then you had a Bloomingville Woven Seagrass Coasters. I did look at those actually and I thought, you know what, I'm not going to worry about that. Because when my mum comes back from Jamaica, because I did say to her, can she get me some trays and some coasters? So I know those will be coming, so I didn't worry about that. And there was the Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Hair Mask. I do normally like the hair mask and um, FabFit fondant, but I've got a good selection of hair products now. I sorted myself out there, so I didn't bother with that. And was that all of section three? Let's have a look. Um, yes, that was all of section three. So all those first three sections, that's what everybody could pick from. So what did I pick? So I've forgotten what I've said already. Right, so <laughs> there was the eye serum, bucket hat, Chloe ring, seagrass coasters and hair mask. And I picked the, the hat. So, listen, I love a hat. I was hoping this is big enough for my head. Um, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna totally mess up my afro now, aren't I? But like, this is the hat, and it obviously it goes with the bag. I mean, how stylish would I look with this? But it doesn't look big enough for my head, to be honest. Oh my gosh. So it's reversible. Um, you can see it's got the designer's name there. Same design, same print. I think this is too. S oh no! Well, ooh, ooh, well, ooh. What are we saying? Should I turn it around? Is it this way? Is it like that? <laughs> Wait a minute. And then. Here's my bag. All style and fashion. Yeah, guy. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. So I don't want to take the hat off now because my hat's got my hair's gonna look a mess. So the hat's staying on for the rest of the video, <laughs> right? Because it'll just be a flat mess, right? So that was all the first three sections. Everybody had a choice from there. The next lot of sections were for the annual members only, and they could only pick from here. So. Here we go, let's go from there. So annual members get to pick from customization, customizations four to five. Otherwise we will choose the best option for you. Want to pick next time? Upgrade to an annual membership at FabFitFun Upgrade. Okay, so the choices were a uh, Sorbus makeup organizer. So that was like a plastic case um, with daisy print on the inside. I mean, it's like a plastic acetone sort of case. Acetone? Acetate, not acetone. Acetate case where you can store your brushes and things in. I've got some of those and I, I mean, I've got them in my, in my bedroom and I store loads of my products in there. Um, I've got a whole load of them which I've just kind of stacked up. Uh, it looked small to me looking at the size of that. I, it looks like one. Going by the segments, it looks like something I've got already, and I thought that was quite small. 
and they were saying it was $30 so I, I wasn't going to pick that. Um, next was Ahava Refreshing Facial Cleansing Gel. Well Ahava is a brand I really like which is a brand I get a lot from FabFitFun and BoxyCharm do that brand as well. I think Ipsy has started doing it too. So cleansing gel, yep, but again I didn't worry about getting that because I get all of those things from my, my beauty boxes so I'm not too worried about that. Excuse me. Then there was Erna Laszlo Sea Mud Deep Cleansing Bar. Erna Laszlo, fantastic if you've got oily, congested, um, combination skin. If you've got complexion issues, Erna Laszlo range is great. And that bar of soap, I don't think they gave it enough credit, enough detail about how good that soap is. So they said here that it's deep clean and rejuvenate the skin with the therapeutic benefits of Dead Sea Mud. Not joking, that bar of soap will last you. Number one, it will last forever, because I remember I had it, and I had it with the cleansing oil as well, so I used it as a double cleanse, and that's how I purchased it, it was a double cleanse. So I had the oil, it was like a dual oil, you know, the sort of white face kind of things, and it was the soap. And I'm not joking, but no, I think that was the first time I was introduced to double cleansing using those products. They were good, they were good, and that's when I kind of realised that I need to stop buying my, my cheap, um, my cheap cleansers from the supermarket and I was like okay I, I need to step up my game a little bit here so really good range so if you've got that soap you I think you'll be really happy with it it is very 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 good be persistent use it daily even just once a day but good stuff next was the Lark and Ives hair scarf bundle um i'm glad i didn't pick that because i've seen some of the americans who did choose it and i think they were thinking it was going to be a really nice long scarf so they were, i think they were using it could use it to wrap around their neck and stuff but they were they were actually quite short scarves they were pretty scarves but they were actually quite short they weren't very long so you could literally just use it just to tie a ponytail and that's it you couldn't do like a wrap or do a whole neck design thing or anything like that it just wasn't long enough for it so I think it was two or three scarves that came in that bundle. Next was from Growing Alchemist, Body Cream in Mandarin and Rosemary Leaf. Um, that cost $26. Growing Alchemist again, a brand that I really, really like. Um, I'm very much into their mattifying cream right now. Every time I get it, my daughter nicks it. So I just need to get some for myself. I'm trying to think if I've ordered some in add-ons from BoxyCharm. I think I might have actually. Um, and that was it. So that was that section. So what did I pick in this section? What did I pick in this section? I have no idea what I picked in that section. So section four, makeup organizer, cleansing gel, cleansing bar, scarf bundle, body cream. Let's have a look. What's here? I chose the Grown Alchemist body cream, which is fair enough. I mean, I've got plenty of body creams now, but this is a brand I really, really like. I think I've actually got two of these now because I'm sort of collecting my whole Grown Alchemist collection because my intention is, is just to do like a month, six weeks of one particular brand. And I think I've nearly got everything. I would have a face... I think I'm just waiting for a moisturiser basically because as I said I had it and then my daughter nicked it so like, there you go that's what it looks like it's a decent cream and I know it's going to be decent quality as well because grown alchemists they don't mess about with the quality so I'm just going to pop it because I want to see how good it is and my hands are constantly dry so I'll use that Okay, it's just a, it's not um, a fragrance, it's just a kind of natural body cream kind of scent. Yeah, there we go. Nourishing. Oh. Yes, now my hands feel good. Still smell a little bit of the curry. I just cooked uh, my version of a Rogan Josh curry for Friday dinner. Why not? It's Friday night. Friday night, it's a curry night, isn't it? Right, section, um, you can tell I'm in a silly mood, I'm sorry. It's Friday, that's why. Right, so, section five. <laughs> right, section five is seven items here. So you can have a choice of pure cosmetics, iconic glow, illuminating face and body dry oil. I'm not into any of that stuff, so that was a definite no. Then, <laughs> I say that, I bet you I picked it, but let's see. Um, next was Camp Collection Dip Dye Market Tote. Oh, that's like a string bag to go to market with that's right you're right with that um next was coco floss tropical trio oh these were like a tea floss trio i wonder if i picked that mm. d was summer and rose tweezer with pouch i know i didn't pick that 
I wouldn't have picked her. I should have. Next was Halston Aloe Infused Gel Line Socks and Pumice Stone. Didn't pick that. Yeah, that was it. So I think I have picked the uh, Cocoa Floss Tropical Trio Floss. Let's have a look. I did, I did, I did indeed. There we go, that's what that looks like. Let's have a look, because not all flosses are equal. So let's um, open this up. Right, so what we've got in here, cute packaging. It's all very pretty packaging in there. So we've got three of these things in there. Um, and so this is the floss tape in there. I don't know if you can see that. That's the floss tape. Let me see if it's too thick or if it's all right. That'll be okay, because sometimes they can be too thin and then they can actually rub and cause damage to your gums. Sometimes they can be too thick so they can't actually get in between your teeth, but those are actually all right. So that's a good size. So I've got two of these. Cocoa floss, they say. So I think they've got a... Uh, oh, right, so this one is pure strawberry. And this one is Cara Cara Orange. There you go. So we've got them in fragrances. And then this is the case that they're going in. There's one inside there already. Yeah. Floss those teeth. You know what I mean? You've got to look after your teeth. I haven't been, this is awful. I haven't been to the dentist in a year. Because I normally, I would have gone in April, but we had the whole lockdown, so I didn't go to any dentist. So I haven't been to a dentist in a year, so I desperately need to go just for a hygiene check to make sure everything's all right. Hey ho! Okay, so the next three sections are f um, Fab Fit Funds picks. So this is where they pick their stuff for us to put in a box, so who knows what's going to go in a box here. So section six, three items. So it could have been each Jewel's flower hair clip two pack. Wear these adorable hair clips for an effortlessly girly look and they're worth $30. Then there was from Human and Kind Hand Scrub Elderflower and Raspberry. So I do like Human and Kind but I like their body cream which is gorgeous. And next was Earth Harbour Marina Biome Brightening Ampoule which is, what's it say? This oil features spirulina and blue tansy to vigorously brighten and balance the skin. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. And that was worth $38. Let's see what they picked for me. Okay, I've got the Humankind hand scrub. I don't mind that actually, that's okay. So, and this is worth $15. So that's what I got. So that's all right, that's all right, loves. Then next, so section seven, we have three items again. So you could have the SF Glow Sun Out Pouts Out Lip Mask. I really hope I didn't get that because I can't stand lip masks. Next was Pink Sky Cactus Slipper Sipper Cup. I don't know what that looks like. I'm not even going to say, but I'll put a picture up on the side here. You tell me what that looks like. And I'm thinking adult. Next is uh, Cali Cosmetics Body Wash, which is wash away the day without drying out the skin. Oh dear, what would they pick for me? No, not that. Not that. Not that. What's this then? Is this it? Something made in China. Oh, I've got the <laughs> the adult looking sipper cup. Let's have a look. Let's see. Okay, it looks less like what I was thinking it looks like. So my mind is just dirty. <laughs> so look, there you go. But yeah, cactus sipper cup. How much they're saying this is worth? 7B. They're saying this is worth 20. No, oh, that can't be right. Yeah, they're saying this is worth $20. Yeah, this is pound, this is pound shop quality here. But hey, I'm not gonna moan because I've got my quality of my stuff already. But um, yeah, I'll just wash that. And, uh, it'll get used. Kayla will probably use it. Right, final lot of items. Um, so this is section eight now. So section eight, you've got a reusable beauty rounds three pack. 
all you've got nails ink nail polish in mayflower lane so the nails ink nail polish i know it wouldn't have got because they can't ship that across so that means i would have got the bt rounds which is exactly what i have here so these in case you haven't um, seen these before they have been appearing in beauty box subscriptions usually we might get one or two um, if you buy them they usually come in packs of three to five and what they are instead of using wipes like facial wipes like this she says holding up guiltily instead of using that you use things like this this is really soft and spongy it's not the not the usual feeling this is very soft and spongy so basically you use these to take your makeup off um, and then the reusable so you probably get two uses out of that that side that side and you put it in a wash so it's reusable that's the whole idea of those and they're saying these are worth $15 which is yeah that's about right actually uh, yeah machine washable do not bleach so that's all good so I'm pleased with that I'm pleased with my box so the things I've got which you know don't forget I'm paying $44.99 so I'm paying $45 which is I don't know how much that is in the UK should I do a quick workout how much that is right, so $44.99 $45 is £32.52 I, I think that's fabulous so I've got this hat which I'm really happy with and I'd more than paid I'd pay £25 for this hat quite happily I've got this bag which I'm really pleased about the size I, I can't tell you how pleased I am about this size because I honestly thought it's going to be quite a big bag and I was a bit worried that it's going to be too big and I couldn't see me using it but this size is practical size which I can see me using a lot I can use this for shopping I can use this for going to work because when I'm going to work I bring a lot of stuff with me sort of inspection folders paperwork all that sort of thing so that's all going to be happening again soon really happy with that um i'm also happy with my exercise stuff here so i've got to get these all blown up so that means i'm going to have to start doing my yoga and pilates now if that doesn't motivate me i don't know what will what else am i happy with i am yeah ignore the sipper cup <laughs> just yeah just ignore that and what else is there and I'm happy with my harbour cream so yeah I've more than got I've got my value let me show you the add-ons which I purchased because you know I'm going to have got add-ons don't you so let me show you my add-ons I didn't go crazy on add-ons this time because I know I normally do right so let me show you my add-ons so the first thing so I've got my hat I've got my bag so of course I bought my mask so you can't see it I've got my mask so I will wash this first before I put this on my face but I'll just show you um, I can't remember if I can put a filter in this or not I'm hoping I can so it's from the same designer Alice and Olivia and it's a mask all in the same collection so when spring when the spring is nearly here when we start going back out and about because I'm not going to stop wearing a mask I'm I don't think we work this hard to start to throw it all the way now I'm going to continue to wear a face mask whilst I'm out and about I'm just not taking any risk okay so it's oh it's the nice shaped ones the ones that are pointed out I can't put a filter in there which is a shame but I think what I'll probably do I'll probably double mask so that's how it looks uh -oh. see and it all goes see I'm gonna be a girl about town yeah baby yeah baby so that's all cool so I got that um, I also did pick up this I, I knew I was in two minds about it so I ended up buying it as an add-on I can't remember what the add-on price was but it was so reasonable it really was so I'm gonna use this as a tray just to put stuff out on my I think I'm gonna use it on my in my hallway so I think people can either put there so I've already got a dish there for keys and stuff um, I'll think about it but I think it's definitely going to go in a hallway just to just keep things neat so things can go there what I might you know what I'm going to do I'm going to use this put this in the hallway and I'm, what I'm going to do I'm going to put all the hand sanitizers hand gels and the face mask because I have a box of face mask so I'm going to put those there they're just the disposable face mask so those are there in the hallway so whoever wants to use it it's all there so 
that's it so that's what I'm going to do with this and it looks nicer it's a bit more it looks nicer right so there's that then I also got <clears throat> then I also got an add-on which is a bit silly really because we're already in March but I love planners so I'm hoping this hasn't actually got the dates written in them but this is like a planner it's like a daily planner um, the brand is Steel Mill, I've never heard of that. It's a to-do planner and it's got two dual tip highlighters and it's got a sticker pack, set of, set of five sticker packs. So there you go. I love planners. So um, let me open this up. Should I open it up? No, I'm not going to open it up yet. Um, I'll probably keep it for next year. But I can't remember. If, if it's got the dates on there as in 2021, I'll just scribble those out. I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I do love having planners and I like having those around me. So I got that. And then I also purchased from, in section one, there was the Milk Maker Watermelon Brightening Face Mask and Mini Watermelon Brightening Face Serum. That was worth $44. I couldn't resist, so I ended up buying it in the add-ons as well. So that's what they look like. So let's have a quick look and see what these are. So this is the face mask. So I thought it looked different. So like that. So it's typical milk makeup looking product. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. So I'm assuming you just kind of apply it like that and then, yeah, leave it for a bit and then do your thing. Um, watermelon brightening face mask. Doesn't say how to use it. I'll, I'll look it up and see how to use it. But I thought, yeah, give that a go. I like a face mask. Oh, I think it's got it here. Glow in a flash solid clay mask stick brightens, hydrates and even skin tone for a luminous complexion. It doesn't say how to use it. But it's a clay mask, so I will give that a go. And then this is the little serum that goes with it. So let's have a quick look and see what that's like. <laughs> oh gosh, this is like a diddy item. Look at that. It's a little ditty thing. So this is a serum. So again, after you've done your face mask, I can't get into it. Right, here we go. So, and that's what it looks like. And you just put that on. Milk makeup are very interesting in their designs of products, but I will let you know. There's a little leaflet in here as well on how to use it all. So I will try it all out. I might just do a little um, Instagram post showing how to do all of that. Who knows? At the moment, I'm using some products at the moment. So I'm using the Gleaming products for the next couple of weeks still. So that's what I'm using. Anyway, so that's those. And what else did I get? Did I get anything else? Oh, I did get the coasters. I obviously didn't resist. I bought the coasters as well. So the coasters are, well, they'll be used, won't they? So they're kind of seagrass coasters, I think they said they were. Um, Bloomingville woven seagrass coasters place your drinks and cocktails on these seagrass coasters with white cotton stitching um, and they were worth 35 dollars okay and i think that's it guys that's all my stuff I'm, I'm actually happy with my haul i don't know why i moan every time i get the box i must be just a miserable person aren't i but um yeah i'm I'm loving the hat and I'm loving my bag I'm, I'm loving my stuff from FabFitFun this season so that's my spring box so yay me guys so if you if you're interested in getting FabFitFun I do have a referral code down below the referral code will give you $10 off your first box so if you do it as a seasonal member um, you'll pay your first box will cost you $39.99 and I think if you do it as an annual member you will get instead of $10 off you'll get $30 off so yeah you'll get $30 off your price so it's all right isn't it that's all right so yeah there you go guys so yeah if you want to join up just use my referral code my link will take you straight in and you know you can just sign up and do it that way but honestly I think FabFitFun if there is a if there is a subscription box I would do and I couldn't do anything else this would be the box I would keep that and boxy charm base box that those would be it they were the only two boxes i would keep and it's, it's interesting that they're both the american boxes isn't it not, not none of the british ones so those would be the two boxes i would keep i would 
definitely keep FabFitFun. This is the box I've been doing the longest. I've been doing FabFitFun since 2016. So I've been doing it a good while. Nearly five years I've been doing FabFitFun. And that was before they came to the UK. So I was one of the, I was the first person to do the box over here in the UK. So yeah, there you go guys. Um, yeah, I'm loving my stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to press that subscribe button, press the all and you'll be all good. So I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.